Hello, this is Dr. Dan. Consider how effective Jesus was as a leader because of his ability to build relationships. I love considering the, the notion of Jesus as a relationship builder because of not only our ability to learn from him and how he developed the relationships which ultimately led to Christianity as we know it, but also because of our ability to use the methods that he used, to use the techniques that he used to develop relationships and better understand how in turn we can improve our lives and our ability to be effective leaders. Take for example, the very first time that Jesus started to develop relationships. He was only 12 years old, he was in the temple, and according to Luke 2, 46 to 47, after three days, his parents, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. Now consider that, just that short passage for a moment. Jesus was able to build relationships at a young age. And what is emphasized here? He was able to listen and ask questions. And I think that's critical. I know that's critical in a leader's ability to effectively connect with individuals, listening and asking questions. Many times leaders, as, I've, as I oftentimes will emphasize, many times leaders perform more as managers and tell people what to do, uh, follow rules, emphasize rules. However, as leaders, we of course need to inspire we need to motivate, motivate, we need to create a vision. And to do that, it is so critical to form all of those key relationships that are involved with being able to build the teams that are needed to carry out the vision. And to do that, we need to ask questions and we need to listen. It is so important. Jesus did this throughout his ministry and we can just learn so much from him. He built relationships, again, from the time he was 12 years old to when he built uh, his, his team of key disciples. He built relationships with people that perhaps others said he should never even communicate with. He built relationships with people that were, were criminals, that were lowest of the low, that had diseases, he built relationships wherever he went, and that was key to forming his ministry and, and ultimately Christianity again as we know it. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Dan, and I do wish you a happy and blessed day.